ti la rigbo eto ti a fi ona ara gbe kale fun igbadun eyin olonu fe wa lati mo awon osere ja nkan da ko sumo yin peki peki fun iroyin to pere gede bo se lo loju agbo ati be be lo Punch or skip out like Jamaican friends call me Capella like my South Africans call me the Coco Master. A cabo so dear to you. Killer you go, killer you go, killer fed to go. You really don't touch the day. They're about touch you. What were the African black cappuccino? The Ramaka one of the kingdom. Who do not want to get a kingdom? If you don't know me, I don't know you too. Why? Hello? It's beautiful. It's beautiful to be here. It's beautiful. Hey, mama. How you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. If you are handsome and you are from that, I surely you will be a governor. If you are handsome and you are from Abuja, surely your destiny might be you end up being a governor. But if you are handsome and you are from my state, no hope. <laughs> <laughs> because of your shoulder leg, they deny the message of this act. No matter how masculine you are, you got the form sexy. Money and also, who do you prefer? That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, so this is what is synonymous with poverty. They have to make up for the money they don't have. Hello. Because I must not take that. I need the money. You just want. They don't get that time. You know, you come. Small people, you don't get sense. I said, I don't behave myself. And shut up. You know what? They use muscle every day, every day we know they hear what your waist, your waist. <laughs> Let the women hold up. In London, when we change the song, any woman when you see that she, she's up to something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
serious me from Lagos Lagos that our second name is traffic how can you say traffic traffic in Abuja they are complaining to me from Lagos that's like we kid complaining that all oh, these children are getting too much meanwhile not two faces they complain give how <laughs> have you seen traffic traffic in Lagos in Lagos, people drive as if it's more than driving. You know, if someone is driving and wants to enter your front. Why, why don't we allow people to enter? What was, what's it with people entering our front? Anytime someone enters your front, it's like he has this virgin. Is <laughs> oh, then it only is you will not enter. We are, we are just driving. Relax. Hello, the only say. I was in traffic, serious traffic. And you know that kind of traffic that your lane is not moving. The lane beside you is moving. So you now, you know, I beg this man, elderly man. I said, sir, please, can I? As if he was giving me. I beg this man seriously, finally, as if he was giving me my destiny. Feel free. <laughs> Immediately I turned. More than half of my car was already on this path. His own lane starts, his own lane did not move again. My lane started moving. And I said, well. I didn't know that thing pained that man. Until we got to the front. That's when the guy, he walked down and said, do you know you are an ingrid? Me, I gave you road. You, no wonder you are not in a relationship. If you can't, if you can't keep a single lane, how will you keep a woman? Idiot. Eh? We are just driving. It's just traffic. It's accident here. Kill your shell. Ah! Eh, hey, accident. Ah! Be motor. Tip. Hotel. Oh! Go go on cool down. Yeah? How? The second set of people. Those ones, it's as if they are excited about bad news. It's as if accidents gives them joy. First of all, there's an accident. An accident just happened. 
happened? You see them smiling. Then you now go and meet them. And your accident here, Kilo Shelley. They're so happy. Oh, Miss Accident here. Oh, Miss Accident. Oh, morning. Oh, morning. You know what? Just wait here. Another accident will happen. Worry. I didn't even last. And people were talking online, you should have done this, you should have done this, this one, that one. I got home, my wife was looking at me, she was like... So I was explaining, I said, I'm sorry, oh baby, not very so, I'm so Nigerian. She said, no, 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 I'm not surprised you came, you came, you came out of the house early. Normally you don't last, so... <laughs> This Lagos is hard. Everybody in Lagos wants to go for Big Brother. Now I die with it. But uh, the good thing is, because for me, I stay on the island, somewhere around Faba, uh, Iju Ishaga, that side. I don't know if you know. If you, if you will agree with me, the way things happen on the island and on the mainland, because there are three parts of Lagos, she understand. There's island, mainland, and major land. Island here with the VI, Ikoi, Leki, Mainland, Ikeja, uh, Maryland, Major Land, all those people who might call Abanajes and Abako Ishiwo. All those places, no peace for the weekend. You do any you see any From their churches, you could almost say, no. Now, for either they pump out now, pastor will they follow that talk, they, because people have money, they just talk to you calmly. Amen. And today, this is this is why they talk, the members they understand. <laughs> to Moses. <laughs> now, why not with that? For major man, the pastor the best. As for the stand, the guy will be everybody stand up. Like they stand up because some people are funny, they will stand up and do like this. All eyes closed. If you open your eyes, anything you see, you take. You don't wonder what thing happen. Who annoyed this man? Close your eyes! Let there be silence everywhere. Why are we under pressure here? You can't hear, everyone go quiet, you can't hear fun. Silence. If you open your eyes, anything you see, you take. Now, threat. If you can't talk, amen. Nobody respond. You confess again. Amen. <laughs> I can say amen, so people are not responding. Black man, if you don't talk, not anything to take your life. The first day when I go to that guy's church, now, and they see that the guy will invite me up, and so they be here. The guy said, if you don't want to lose your life, just obey. If you don't want to die, you all those places, first of all, leave the Holy Spirit here. Yeah. Leave these people, leave these people, leave them. Leave them. You've not done anything wrong to us. Your name is Igodo. You are here. You know, you know, you know, I know that you are here. Let there be silence everywhere. You go hear one woman go back. If you open your eyes, anything you see, you take. But they wonder, what have we done to this man? Why things are like that? But have you noticed also that on the island they don't disturb you in the morning? There is peace. Some of you that stay on the island, you don't know the privilege. You wake up, now your alarm man will wake you up. Do you know the you know the privilege you are enjoying now? From mainland and the environment they wake us up. Sorry, major land. Where I used to stay. But I'm going back there this night. <laughs> now the environment will wake you up. You will just see one person so no they will bring out this equipment. If, if I bring this thing out, you understand it or you can relate. You need to pray for deliverance. <laughs> if they wake you up with this thing in the morning, you need deliverance. They will just care for morning when you sleep. One person. And the, ah, that was why I went to the big brother's house to leave this situation while I'm still there. <laughs> for morning, person, when you don't know from anywhere, you just begin to preach. Give you. You go the one that waited at this. 
The first day when they do this thing, eh, I go buy my own room. <laughs> As the guy they talk, my brothers and sisters, Mr. Valerie respond. So we were communicating. I beg my uncle. Very honored. My name is Abdul Kulalai. Like I said, I'm a very I'm a stand up comedian. I'm married by the grace of God. I've had the privilege of being married for a very long time. Uh, five years in marriage, and by the grace of God, I have two mature kids. My first daughter is four years old, and my son is one year, seven months. People ask me why do I say they are mature? Because the food they eat is quite mature. You take a little bit more cereal, you have to sing for them to eat. My daughter, you, sometimes you don't use pink plate for her, so that the, the plate is not pink. She's privileged. I'm the first one of nine children from the polygamous family. I didn't know we were nine two years ago. Tentatively, we were nine. I don't know the latest number. <laughs> Growing up in the polygamous family, in the polygamous family for me, it wasn't funny. I went through a lot of polygamy that I was so scared of polygamy that even to go to a battle poly, I didn't go. Anything poly. Anything poly. Anything poly. I was so scared. Even, it was so bad that even, even to play Monopoly, I couldn't play. Anything poly, because it was a lot for me. Children are privileged that you see the two children relate to their father. Hello, daddy, how are you? Are you okay? You tell your father, you okay? So I stopped at Cock and Road. I stay at that, like, back of the stop. Uh, my house is not far from me in the lag. I never went to the lag, but I stay on that road. You know, and everything that I've gotten by the grace of God is in Lagos. I noticed that once Nigerians, once their wife gets pregnant, they go abroad. And in two, two months, three months, they are back with their child. Before I got married, I made up my mind that once my wife gets pregnant, she goes to the US. One of the things I didn't find out was to find out how much it would take to give birth. Until my wife was pregnant. I snapped to send a bill to Texas. Houston, Texas, Dr. Fabu responded for normal delivery. Normal delivery, not operation. When we had the amount for normal delivery, I began to ask my wife, baby, she you were born in Nigeria. We were born here, we were doing well. By the grace of God, we didn't go to the US. We went to Island Maternity, it's not far from here. And my daughter is doing very well. I'm from Mondo State, I married a woman from a place they call that Barrow Hotel in Delta State. Married a robo lady, any robo person they ask? Big Oma, I married from your area, man. Big Oma. They can smile to you, it's when they send you the view, they will, you don't know. <laughs> On the 1st of May 2008, I'll leave you. I slapped my mother in your soul, the car. She made a statement in Pidgin English, I didn't understand. He said, I know, say that I go wipe away our tears. I was wondering who was crying. I didn't know that I was crying before. <laughs> Until they sent me the bill for bright friends. When I saw it, I knew I was about to wipe away their tears. <laughs> but God helped me, I negotiated. As soon as, one year to marry, just a few months to marry, my wife got pregnant. I don't know how she did it, but she got pregnant. <laughs> one year to our wedding, one month to our wedding anniversary, my wife had a baby girl. February 18th, as soon as I saw the girl. And I remember what I went through two one year ago. I told my daughter, I'm able, because I know that will be a friend of 20 years. Thank you so much. I love you. My name is Sako. Any links to the first bad guy, show them. Emma Wu. Emma Wu. Kila Rigbo. Tekomo. Kila Rigbo. Kila Rigbo. Kila Rigbo. Emma Wu. Shut it up. Emma Wu. 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 Emma W